Hello dear children, in this video we are going to discuss the numericals based on the spherical mirrors. Children, the numericals based on spherical mirrors are always special. So what way they are special when compared with the numericals based on other concepts of physics only. Children, in other numericals from other topics if you can take, then knowing the formulae, substituting the proper data in a proper manner, you get the answer. But when you come to spherical mirror children, knowing the formulae, substituting the just data is not enough. So, we must apply the sign convention rule. So, formulas plus sign convention rule. So, if we can remember the formulas, if we can apply the sign convention rules properly, then we get the correct answer. Children, it is very simple, but the thing is that just we need little bit of practice. So, before going to solve the numericals, children, let us see what are the formulas which are important to be remembered so that we can solve the numericals. Children, here. The first formula is the relation between radius of curvature and the focal length. That is, we know that r is equal to f or f is equal to r by 2. And the second one is mirror formula, very, very important. So, whenever image means out of these three physical quantities, if any two physical quantities are given, the third one can be calculated. And third one is based on the linear magnification. So, children, especially this formula is very, very important. Image height, object height, image distance and object distance. How these four quantities are related. So, with this only children, if you know any three quantities, the fourth quantity can be calculated. Children, just these three formulas, these three formulas are enough. Along with this, sign convention rules. Children, let us recall once again sign convention rules children. So, according to the sign convention rules, of what we can say, the pole of the mirror is taken as origin. Which means what is children? All horizontal distances must be measured from the pole only. So, whenever we are measuring the distances children, that is horizontal distances, if we are taking the values in the direction of incident ray or positive and opposite direction of incident ray are taken as a negative and the heights above the principal x are positive, below the principal x are negative. Children, as per the sign convention rules, irrespective of spherical mirror, the object distance is always negative. And a few more points we need to remember, the focal length of concave mirror is a positive, sorry, negative always. Whereas the focal length of con convex mirror is always negative. For a virtual image children, the image distance, the image height are going to be positive. But whereas for a real image, the image distance and image height, they are going to be negative. So children, this, uh, these formulas and with the concepts of sign convention, we can solve any type of numerical in an easy way based on the spherical mirrors. Okay children, let us start the first numerical. First numerical. Children, according to the numerical, it is given that radius of curvature of convex mirror is 40 centimeters. They are asking us to calculate the focal length. So, let us recall the relation between radius of curvature and focal length children. So, radius of curvature r is equal to, we know it is a 2f. Then what happens f is equal to, f is equal to half of the radius of curvature. Radius of curvature is given 40 centimeters by it is 2 then focal length is equal to 20 centimeters. So, this is the answer. Okay, children, fine. In the second numerical, what happened? Focal length is given. They are asking us to calculate the radius of curvature. So, children here, focal length is given 10 centimeters. Then, radius of curvature, they are asking us to calculate. So, we know that radius of curvature is double the focal length. So, this can be 2 into 10, this is going to be 20 centimeter. Children here actually, if we can speak strictly about the sign convention, actually here focal length of a concave mirror is minus actually, is minus, okay, it should be minus actually. So, as a focal length is minus children, radius of curvature also minus only. But most of the time, whenever they ask the questions just based on R is equal to A formula, we will calculate only magnitude. Okay, children, fine. This is a second question. Now, you can see third numerical on the board also. So, object height is 2 centimeters. Children, whenever we are solving the numericals based on spherical mirrors, let us try to make a diagram actually. Of course, diagram does not carry a mark, but we get perfect idea what is given, what to be calculated. So, look at here, it is given that here is a concave mirror of focal length 12 centimeters. And the object of height 2 centimeters is placed at a distance of 20 centimeters. Then they are asking us to calculate the position of the image and nature of the image. Children, first what is given? Let us read the data. Children, as per the sign convention, object distance is minus 20 centimeters. 
the focal length of concave mirror is yes always it is 12 centimeters and here object height is given this is 2 centimeters now first we have to calculate the position of the image that is image distance we need to calculate children here we know that mirror formula according to mirror formula 1 by f is equal to it is 1 by v plus 1 by u so let us make 1 by v as a subject that is 1 by v is equal to 1 by f minus 1 by u now let us substitute the values here this will be 1 by minus 12 minus it is 1 by minus 20 centimeters so you should be very careful here minus into minus it is going to be a plus that is this will be minus 1 by 12 plus it is 1 by 20 now let us take a lcm look at here let us take a lcm let us calculate and this 1 by v is equal to lcm or else do one thing if we have a conversion with lcm the simple way we can do it how multiply these two 20 into 12 is how much 240 and do the cross multiplication so minus 1 into 20 it is going to be minus 20 plus 1 into 12 it is going to be 12 children so this will be minus 8 by 240 this is going to be minus 1 by 30 so some students what happens you know again they'll write v is equal to minus 1 by 30 no don't forget that this 1 by v is equal to minus 1 by 30 then v is going to be minus 30 centimeters v is equal to minus 30 centimeters Chill. the very important thing is that for a real image only for a real image only image distance we will get a negative so we can say that the image so called so formed is actually real image it is actually real image real image so all real images are by default they are inverted image only that is fine now what is the size of the image children so we have a relation from the concept of linear magnification we know that here image height y object height is equal to minus v by u what we need to calculate we need to calculate the image distance children then it is going to be image distance is equal to minus v by u into h naught that is object distance sorry object height then image height is equal to minus v value how much we got minus 30 u value minus 20 centimeters into object height is how much children how much again 2 centimeters so minus minus cancel 0 0 2 2 so here we got image distance as minus 3 centimeters children now you can compare here image distance is minus 3 that is see here don't worry about a minus it is not a mathematics minus number is a less plus number. it's not that just this minus represents that this height is taken below the principal axis that is the real image for all real images images image distance is going to be negative only so that you forget about that minus symbol here image height is 3 centimeters object height is 2 centimeters which means what image height is greater than the object height which means what dear children the image so formed is enlarged image it is what type of image children it is enlarged image okay na? so this is how we have to calculate okay just copy it we'll move to next numerical so here radius of curvature is given 24 centimeters children here the thing is that in the, the special to this numerical is that here focal is not given only radius of curvature is given and they are saying that object is placed at 4 centimeters in front of it then we need to find the image position that is v value we need to find out and even we need to find the nature of the image children here r value is given can we calculate the focal length yes we can calculate that is children we know that r is equal to it is a 2f so f is equal to r by 2 so here r is going to be negative according to sign convention that is minus 24 by 2 so indirectly focal length is given that is minus 12 centimeters so focal length we got and here object distance is given minus 4 centimeter then we need to calculate the v value what we have to do let us take the middle from the children that is 1 by f is equal to 1 by v plus 1 by u from this we can write 
1 by v is equal to 1 by f minus 1 by u. Let us substitute the values here that is 1 by minus 12 minus of minus 4 it is children here minus into minus this is going to be a plus. So here 1 by v is equal to minus 1 by 12 it is plus 1 by 4. You can take a LCM, LCM is a 12 minus 1, 4, 3 is a 12. So it is so here v is equal to 6 centimeters. Children here if you can see v is equal to 6 centimeters means what? We got actually positive value. So for image distance we are getting a positive value which means what? Image is from behind the mirror. So children when an object is placed in front of a concave mirror whose radius of curvature is 20, 24 centimeters. If that object is placed 4 centimeters in front of it then what happens children? Image is from 6 centimeters behind the mirror. And don't forget children, did you remember this case actually? This is a sixth case of the concave mirror where object is placed between pole and focus. What is the focal length children? Here is here 12 centimeters. This is actually focal length is equal to 12 centimeters. So it is the sixth case of the concave mirror. Okay, children, let's copy it. Let us move to the fifth numerical. A, B is object. So children, this is what actually given question is a concave mirror of focal length 25 centimeters. They are asking us to calculate the object distance such a way that image height is equal to the object height. Children, once you can recall, this is actually the very very important third case of the concave mirror where object size is equal to the image size. When it happens, it happens only object is placed at the radius of curvature. That is what center of curvature. So, with that, without doing numerical also, we can get the answer. So, radius of curvature is nothing but what? Double the focal length. So, 2 into 25, 50 centimeters. Actually, 50 centimeters is the correct answer. So, without doing numerical also, sometimes we can guess actually. So, this is a logic which we have to use when we go for competitive examinations. But when it comes to the academic examinations, we have to do the numerical and we have to solve it. So, children, according to the question, it is given that object height is x means, they are saying object height is x. Then image height also same, it is x only. But minus x, why? Image is formed below the principal axis. Below the principal, it's a real image actually. Now we know that children, we know very well that here image height by object height is equal to minus v by u. Let us substitute in this. So here x image height is minus x, object height is x, this will be minus v by u. Okay, x x cancel minus minus cancel here. So simple thing v is equal to u v is equal to u okay now fine now let us take a mirror formula that is 1 by f is equal to 1 by v plus 1 by u 1 by f, f is equal to 1 by v plus 1 by u now look at here it is 1 by f is equal to in the place of v let us substitute u because we need to calculate the object distance okay that is u plus it is u only so f value is given how much 25 centimeters should we substitute only 25 or minus 25? Minus 25. Why? It is a concave mirror. For a concave mirror, focal length is always minus. That is negative only. So it is minus 1 by 25 is equal to this is going to be u. This what? 1 plus 1 if you can take LCM. So this will be minus 1 by 25 is equal to 2 by u. Children, let us do the cross multiplication. You can get u is equal to minus 50 centimeters. So, where the image is going to be formed? Children, exactly here only. Image also going to be formed here only. At the center of curvature only. This is the third case of the concave mirror. Children, when, that's what I'm telling you. Just whenever a numerical is given by the spherical mirror, try to make a rough diagram so that we get a clear picture. So that what happens will become very easy to us to solve it. Okay, let's copy it. Let it be the focus. So, children, according to the question, it is given that object of height 5 centimeters is placed in front of a concave mirror of focal length 10 centimeters at a distance 60 centimeters. Then they are asking us to calculate the image distance and size of the image. Obviously, we have to talk about the nature of the image also. Children, first let us write the data. So, whenever we are writing the data, we have to keep sign convention in mind. So, as per the sign convention for children here, Object distance is minus 60 centimeters. Okay, 
focal length is given that is minus 10 centimeters and here object height is given 5 centimeters. So, first let us calculate the image distance very easy to us sorry uh, we can't calculate the Im yeah, image distance we can calculate after that only we can calculate the image height. So, according to the mirror formula children here 1 by f is equal to 1 by v plus 1 by u. Let us substitute the values before that let us make 1 by v as a subject this is 1 by f minus 1 by u. So, children is 1 by v is equal to 1 by minus 10 minus of it is minus 60. Now, here let us uh, take LCM that is 1 by v is equal to. So, this is minus 1 by 10 and it is going to be plus 1 by 60. So, actually LCM is going to be how much it is a 60. So, 10 6 tens are 60 plus 1. So, this will be minus 5 by 60. So, here 1 by v is equal to minus 1 by 12 children which is what actually v is equal to minus 12 centimeters minus 12 centimeters am I clear that is fine. Then let us calculate the image height. So, we have a relation that is image height by object height is equal to minus v by u children. Then we have to calculate the image height that is image height h i is equal to minus v by u into it is h naught. Let us substitute the values we got it is minus 12 u is minus 60 object height is given 5 centimeters 5 it is. So, minus minus cancel 5 ones are 5 twelves are. So, 12 ones are 12 will get cancel will be minus 1 that is image height is equal to minus 1 centimeter we got. Now, let us compare with children with object height. So, here as the image height is less than the object height it is going to be a diminished image this is what is the diminished image. You may get one doubt is it real image or virtual image children it is real image only for a real image only image distance is going to be negative ok children just copy it so that we can do the next numerical ok just copy it. So, this is given 40 centimeters. Children, till now we have solved the numericals based on concave mirror. Now it comes to the convex mirror. So, according to the numerical given children, what is given here? An object is placed in front of a convex mirror at a distance of 40 centimeters and its focal length is given 40 centimeters. Children, a small change will be there. What is that? For a concave mirror, focal length is negative, but for a convex mirror, according to sign convention, it is a positive. So, that change we have to understand and we have to remember, then what will happen? We will get the correct answer. Let us see. First, let us write the data. So, object distance. So, children, as I told you that, as we all know that, irrespective of mirror, object distance is always negative. No need to worry about it. Okay, now fine. And the focal length is here, it is going to be a 40 centimeters. That is fine. Now, let us take the mirror formula. What is the mirror formula? 1 by f is equal to 1 by v plus 1 by u. From this it is 1 by v is equal to 1 by f minus 1 by u. Now, let us substitute the values with the sign that is very important. This is 1 by 40 minus and minus of 40 children. Then what happens here? Minus into minus plus. Some students you know what happened they may forget this minus then what happens 1 by 40 minus 1 by 40 is 0 that is image distance is going to be 0 it is highly impossible it is ok fine. So, it is 1 by v is equal to 1 by 40 plus 1 by 40 children. Now, here LCM is going to be 40 this will be 1 plus 1 this is going to be 2 by 40 children. So, 2 by 40 is how much 1 by 20. So, 1 by v is equal to 1 by 20 then v is going to be how much children 20 centimeters. So, v value we got positive which means what image is formed here only this side image is formed right side that is what it is a behind the mirror children for that we no need to calculate the answer also here what what, what is the reason because it is convex mirror it always gives virtual image only no need to think only ok. So, this is what actually they ask children. Can we calculate even the size of the image? Yes, we also can calculate. Look at here. So, here m is equal to we know that v by u 
okay with this also we can calculate okay or else you know image height if you want you know again we want object height that also we can calculate how m is equal to minus v by u okay now here it is going to be minus 20 and u also it is going to be uh, minus 40 this is going to be 1 by 2 so m is equal to 1 by 2 that is 0 0.5 children whenever m value is less than 1 it is what what type of image it is it's i mean to say size so it's a diminished image children m is greater than 1 enlarged image m is equal to 1 same size m is less than 1 diminished image so it's very clear that whenever the image see the image formed by convex material always it is diminished and virtual it is so for that we don't need to solve the numerical also because it is asked so we calculate otherwise without calculating the numerical also we can talk about the nature of the image and size of the image formed by a convex mirror whatever may be the position of the object okay let's copy it six centimeters Children, look at here see this numerical is based on the concave mirror especially sixth case children so here according to the numerical children here what is given here so an object of height one centimeter is placed at four centimeters in front of a concave mirror such that the image of height 1.5 centimeters is formed behind the mirror so children as it is said it is a behind the mirror means you can understand that it is a virtual image only now they are asking us to calculate the focal length. Children, it's very simple to calculate. Let us do the data. And here the thing is that the data here x information is given object height, image height, which is not required to calculate the focal length. Sometimes the excess information is given with that we shouldn't get confused. Okay, fine, children. So here object to distance is according to sign convention, it is minus 4 centimeters and image distance as it is from right side here, it is going to be plus 6 centimeters only. Then we need to calculate the focal length. So let us take a mirror formula 1 by f is equal to 1 by v plus 1 by u. Let us substitute the values here 1 by 6 plus so u value is a minus 4. So this is going to be as I said crisscross method let us follow 6 4 is a, this minus is going to be here so minus into plus this is going to be minus 1. 6 4 is a, it is 24 and here 4 it is a minus this is going to be minus 2 by 24 so 1 by f is equal to minus 1 by 24 children obviously focal length is going to be a minus 12 centimeters children as it is a concave mirror its focal length is a negative when we solve when we do also we must get so mathematically it's very clear that the focal length of a concave mirror is negative children it's always the focal length of concave mirror is a negative whereas the focal length of convex mirror is positive okay let's copy it so it is 4 centimeter children see this numerical also without solving the numerical we can tell the answer where the image is going to be formed and what is the height of the image why just look at here the focal length is given 15 centimeters and object is placed at 30 centimeters which means what object is placed at a center of curvature children whenever object is placed at a center of curvature image also form at the same point only. that is image distance which we are going to get 30 centimeters and that too same size as that of the object we get that is what if object height is 4 centimeter image height also 4 centimeters only. of course without new doing numerical we can just with the concept we can tell but let us solve it mathematically and let us prove it again okay so according to the given question children here so object distance is given minus 30 centimeters and focal length is given minus 15 centimeters first let us calculate the image distance by using the mirror formula 1 by v is equal to 1 by v plus 1 by u let us substitute the values before that let us make 1 by v as a subject that is 1 by v is equal to 1 by f minus 1 by u so children it is going to be 1 by v is equal to 1 by minus 15 minus of 1 by minus 30 so this will become children minus 1 by 15 and minus into minus it will be plus that is plus 1 by 30 so children 1 by v is equal to so lcm is 30 so here 15 2 is a 30 1 is a, this is going to be minus 1 by 30 as 1 by v is equal to minus 1 by 30 v is equal to this is minus 30 centimeter children this is what actually beginning of the 
question only begin with the new method before going to solve only just we discuss right so of image also going to be formed at the same point as it is a real image we are getting a minus so that is a different real image or virtual image but at the same position the image is going to be formed and this is the first one children they are asking us to calculate even <coughs> image height also so image height we are going to get 4 centimeters only let us check that so here let us check that image position so here image height by object height is equal to minus v by u substitute the values image height is equal to <coughs> minus minus 30 by it is minus 30 so object height will come this side object is 4 centimeters minus 30 minus 30 cancel <coughs> so image height is equal to minus 4 centimeters that's it so children whenever object is placed at the center of curvature image also formed at center of curvature and the image distance also image height also is equal to the object height okay children let's copy it this is 3x so children according to the numerical it is given that here object is placed in front of a concave mirror at the 30 centimeters such a way that the image formed is three times the size of the image is three times as that of the object so let object height is x then image height is going to be 3x then we need to calculate the focal length and we need to calculate the image distance children here let us read the data first see it is a similar concept it is a similar concept no need to get confused as it is not mentioned object height or image height nothing to worry it's very easy we are going to make uh, in an easy manner and we are going to discuss very very easily look at here children so here object height is equal to x image height is equal to minus 3x children so this is a point where we will get confused sometime so real image that took found below the principal axis is always negative only okay now fine and here object height of course it is minus 30 centimeters so with this children with this so here we know that it is image height by object height is equal to minus v by u so image height is 3x object height is x this is going to be minus v which to be calculated u value is minus 30 minus minus x x do the cross multiplication we get v is calculate focal length how to calculate yes same point that is 1 by f is equal to children that is 1 by v plus 1 by u let us substitute the values that is 1 So this is going to be 2x so children according to the numerical an object is placed in front of a concave mirror at a distance 5 centimeters so that it forms virtual image but twice the size so let object height is x then image image height is going to be 2x children so here object height is x then image height is going to be a 2x and also given u is equal to minus 5 centimeters then we need to calculate the image distance and we need to calculate the focal length also. Children, it's very simple to calculate image distance. Let us think about the concept of linear magnification. We know that image height by object height is equal to minus v by u. Let us substitute the values. That is 2x by x is equal to minus v by minus 5. Minus must get cancelled. x, x get cancelled. v is equal to do the cross multiplication. 2 5 is so how much we will get? 10 centimeters children we got a positive why we got positive it's virtual for a virtual image the image distance is always positive only now we need to calculate the focal length so children focal length is the same right uh, see we know that 1 by f is equal to 1 by v plus 1 by u so shortcut you can remember like this also f is equal to u v by u plus v children whenever object distance and image distance is known you can use this formula so that sometimes you know what happens we may get a confused we may get we may be confused in taking a lcm if we can use this that formula no need to take a lcm no need to bother about it directly we can substitute and we can get the answer so here f is equal to u is equal to how much children minus 5 it is and the v value we got it has a 10 by minus 5 plus 10 so here f is equal to minus 50 by it is 5 so f is equal to 
minus 10 centimeters. So this is how we can calculate the image distance and as well as focal length. Okay, children. Now just copy till here. And uh, next, whatever we have 12, 13, 14 numericals, we do it. They are very, very simple. First, you copy this. We'll do the 13, uh, 12, 13, 14 at the same time. Okay, do it. Here minus 3. So look at here. So 12th, very simple. In one minute, we can solve these three numericals. So 12th one is, so concave mirror, convex mirror forms uh, image so that its size is one third of the object height. Then they are asking us to find the relation between V, v and U. Look at here. We know the relation. Uh, what is that? Image height by object height is equal to minus V by U. Let's substitute directly. So image height is given one third of object height by it is object height is equal to minus V by U. And H naught, H naught cancel. So minus V by U is equal to 1 by 3. You do the cross multiplication, you will get U is equal to minus 3V. So this is how object distance and image distance are related. Now come to the 30th numerical here. So concave mirror children. So it is said that a concave mirror also forms image, but it forms a virtual image such that the size of the image is twice the size of the object. Then they are asking us to find the relation between image distance and object distance. Similar formula which we have to use that is image height by object height is equal to minus V by U. Now look at here children, image height in the place of that we can add 2 H naught by it is H naught. This is going to be minus V by U. So H naught H naught cancel. So this is going to be v is equal to if you can solve this v is equal to minus 2 you will get fine children in a last numerical linear magnification is given they are asking us to find the relation between image distance and object distance so we know that linear magnification is equal to minus 1 by u okay so let us substitute the m value minus 3 is equal to minus v by u minus minus cancel here v is equal to it is a 3u okay children that's it so children these are the numericals okay so based on convex and concave mirror children once again i'm telling you the very 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 important thing is that actually before going to solve any numericals and before going to learn any question answers you must read the textbook again i'm telling you, it's very 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 important reading the textbook is mandatory first read the textbook then you can refer any videos then you can refer any guides, then you will get a good command. So whenever we solve numerical based on spherical children, again I am telling you, sign convention is very very important. Sign convention, there you don't forget that concave mirror focal length is always negative and whereas convex mirror focal length is always positive. Okay children, thank you so much, all the very best.